Did you know China is preparing to send almost 13,000 satellites into low Earth orbit to compete with and monitor SpaceX's Starlink constellations? Let's dive into that today. Vast numbers of satellites like this are becoming less and less unexpected. They are not without their faults. A fact that any astronomer whose data has been ruined by the device's reflectivity will quickly tell you. But they have the potential to increase internet coverage and communication efficiency around the world. So it's not surprising China wants to get in on the action. The new project, codenamed GW, is being run by a newly established group called China Satellite Network Group Company, hoping to launch 12,992 small satellites into orbit quickly. This would dwarf Starlink's current count of around 3,500 satellites, though SpaceX plans to have 12,000 satellites in rotation by 2027 in an eventual total count of 40,000 devices orbiting around the Earth. China's urgency in completing this project stems from a desire to prevent Starlink from dominating the low Earth orbit space and prevent other firms or governments from occupying it. According to the South China Morning Post, researchers at the People's Liberation Army Space Engineering University in Beijing, working with the China Satellite Network Group company, hope to ensure that our country has a place in low Earth orbit and prevent the Starlink constellation from excessively preempting low orbit resources and gain opportunities and advantages at the orbital altitudes and even suppress Starlink. Researchers with the group have expressed concern about Starlink satellites' maneuverability and claim that the ability might be used to target and destroy other objects in space. By launching its fleet of devices into the mix, China hopes to be able to match that potential. And as concerns over the potential military applications of Starlink satellite constellations continue to rise, especially regarding the current conflict in Ukraine, China wants to identify each Starlink satellite and know their movements. To aid in this aim, the researchers from the Space Engineering University have suggested China start an international anti-Starlink coalition that could jointly demand SpaceX make the precise location of its satellites public knowledge. But as this data is not yet available, getting up to orbit themselves may be China's best bet for keeping track of Starlink. But keep an eye on the sky in the future. The following strange collection of lights you see may be very well from these satellites. The Starlink satellite may use their orbital maneuverability to hit and destroy nearby targets in space actively, the researchers said, according to the SCMP. Zhu added that the Chinese effort could ensure that our country has a place in low orbit and prevent the Starlink constellation from excessively preempting low orbit resources. As Space News points out, China filed for 13,000 satellites with the International Telecommunication Union in Geneva in 2020. In 2021, the Chinese capital of Beijing established the China Satellite Network Group, citing satellite internet as a crucial part of China's infrastructure. This month, China Satellite Network Group signed an agreement with Shanghai, though the details of this deal's specifics are unclear. Those developments aside, papers like this are common amongst Chinese academics, and it remains precisely that at the moment, an idea sketched out on paper. Whether China has the means to launch something on this scale is another matter entirely. Unlike SpaceX, China doesn't have a reusable rocket like the Falcon 9, which essentially enables this endeavor. Speaking of the Falcon 9, Elon could launch more Starlinks should China decide to knock some out. Finally, there's the critical issue of how the world's satellite operators will come to manage all this added space traffic. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been steadily launching Starlinks into space since 2019, with the current number of operational units at 3,639. The International Satellite Network has connected some of the most remote parts of the globe and is officially available on all seven continents. While China Satellite Network Group Starlink and UK's OneWeb battle it out for dominance of low Earth orbit, astronomers might be justifiably concerned about the amount of brightness these satellites could cause, in what is yet another issue. The Chinese satellites could be equipped with an anti-Starlink payload to carry out various missions, such as conducting close-range, long-term surveillance of Starlink satellites. The Starlink network, now with over 3,000 satellites in orbit, is expected to eventually grow to more than 40,000 satellites, according to SpaceX. 
Zhu's team said that China's space surveillance and defense capacity could not cope with so-called satellites. The Starlink satellite can receive data from the U.S. Department of Defense to plan or coordinate their positions. According to the paper, they are equipped with surveillance sensors to monitor the space environment. The Starlink satellite may use their orbital maneuverability to hit and destroy nearby targets in space actively, the researchers said. China plans to build more powerful radar systems powered by new technology to identify and track Starlink satellites, they said. According to the researchers, the radar and the detection measures could be used to update a Starlink catalog that would eventually contain detailed data on every satellite. Zhu's team said that the Chinese government could cooperate with other governments to form an anti-Starlink coalition and demand that SpaceX publish the precise orbiting data of Starlink satellites. The Ukrainian military has used Starlink services effectively against the Russian forces. Since the war broke out, Chinese military researchers have repeatedly called for developing capabilities to destroy Starlink if necessary. On February 13th, SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeted that the company would restrict the military use of Starlink in the Ukraine war because we will not enable escalation of a conflict that may lead to World War III. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said on February 18th that the U.S. government had talked to Musk about the use of Starlink satellite internet in Ukraine, but did not elaborate. Researchers at the People's Liberation Army Space Engineering University in Beijing, involved with the China Satellite Network Group company, are hoping to, according to the South China Morning Post, ensure that our country has a place in low Earth orbit and prevent the Starlink constellation from excessively preempting low orbit resources and gain opportunities and advantages at other orbital altitudes and even suppress Starlink. The China Satellite Network Group company has also made claims about wanting to be able to track and even disable Starlink satellites with their constellations. Researchers with the group have expressed concern about Starlink satellites' maneuverability and claim that ability might be used to target and destroy other objects in space. However, SpaceX launched more mass to orbit, and SpaceX is tripling its launch mass in 2023. China could ramp up space spending to launch 13,000 satellites by the end of 2024. Under normal circumstances, it would take until about 2026 for China to perform mass production of new satellites and increase rocket production. If SpaceX successfully gets the fully reusable Super Heavy Starship flying, then SpaceX will be able to increase its launch rate and mass to orbit by 10 to 1,000 times. If SpaceX gets full U.S. government support, they could get expedited approvals for Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 4 satellites. SpaceX stepping up to 100,000 or 1 million Starlink satellites could only be matched by China once China gets fully reusable rockets. So, to sum it up, researchers say China plans to build an extensive satellite network in near-Earth orbit to provide internet services to users worldwide and to stifle Elon Musk's Starlink. The project has the codename GW, according to a team led by Associate Professor Zhu Kan with the People's Liberation Army, Space Engineering University in Beijing. China's satellites are to compete with SpaceX's Starlink constellations directly. China targeting SpaceX Starlink will cause U.S. regulators to rally to SpaceX. The FAA has been delaying some approvals for SpaceX. China will cause the U.S. government to boost support for SpaceX and accelerate approvals. SpaceX will get accelerated licenses for Super Heavy Starship and for complete Gen 2 and Gen 3 Starlink satellites. What do you think about China's intention to launch 13,000 satellites to suppress Starlink? Let us know in the comments below. So that was all for today's video. Make sure you hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.